Now shifting focus to Sri Lanka, whereas the crisis only spirals by the day all the cabinet ministers, remember, have resigned. Meanwhile, the anti-government protesters continue to occupy the presidential as well as the prime ministerial residences in Lanka, saying that they will only move when both the leaders officially step down. Remember protesters breached the presidential palace over the weekend and since then have not in fact moved away from the spot. President Gotabaya Rajapaksa had said that he will be stepping down on July 13, that is day after tomorrow on Wednesday. Meanwhile, Prime Minister Ranil Vikrame Singhe said that he will make way for an all-party government in the island nation. And continuing with updates flowing in from Sri Lanka, not only the common man, but the Sri Lankan cricket fraternity, in fact, is also showing its act of support in the ongoing protest against the country's government. Now, the legendary Sri Lankan cricketer, Sanat Jay Surya, who joined hands with the protesters on the streets of Colombo, has said that the leaders need to make a quick decision now and protest won't be called off until they officially resign. Let's listen in. But thing is, we need to wait till resign. They have not. They have said resigning, but uh, we have not seen officially. So, the the speaker is there in the parliament, and also the party leaders are there. The senior politicians are there. They need to take a, a quick call. They need to sit even today now itself and make a quick decision uh, what they should do because uh, it's up to the speaker now. So they can't delay things. Uh, they'll have to uh, work uh, uh, fast and take a, a decision. Uh, well, it's, uh, it's become a spectacle now. And uh, I think it's more out of hope than anything else. People are flocked in their thousands. Uh, as you can see, I'm just going to turn my camera here and uh, try to show you. Uh, uh, try to show the uh, okay something's wrong. I'm, I'm just gonna yeah I'm just gonna go away and show you. Uh, people have gathered in here in their thousands and uh, still uh, coming here on a working day uh, only because I think this the struggle has become the only hope they can hold on to during these difficult times. But the answers are very slow. Yes, uh, the president seems to have decided to leave, but the prime minister is still holding this decision that has not come out and there is no certainty about how this is going to uh, be solved and I don't think the protesters or the people care about it but then this is a matter of immediate uh, necessity and they would like the people in authority to just make the decisions that are needed very very fast. I think if not this situation is going to get tense.